we were reading out the names today, the nominations, and um, yeah, you, you sort of wonder where people are, whether they still be, they could still be in their PJs, couldn't they really, at home, <laughs> no. just with a coffee, just thinking, all right, I'll watch. And, no, it was, it's nice, and there were lots of people here today from the nominated shows, and there was, so they were a bit raucous, and um, you feel happy for them. What about the year that you were nominated last year? Did you did you come to this event? No. See, I wouldn't. If I if I was nominated, no, I and not reading out like I am today. Yeah. I would never come to go like, come on, tell me. If I find out in my sort of like like you say, my pajamas or whatever, which are very cool by the way. I um <laughs> and I didn't get nominated. I'd be like, I know. Ah, well, you, you want some, to come you some, and then not be nominated. But you come here and you're like, come on, give me it, and you don't get. Oh, you'd be gutted, man. Because I was announcing, or co-announcing, it was a relief because I thought it would be dreadfully embarrassing if I wasn't nominated in the year that I was under consideration. Uh, I'm huge, I'm dead chuffed. Partly as well because I think, you know, the Olivia's are slightly unique in award ceremonies in that they give people from outside the industry and outside of SALT uh, the opportunity to have their say um, and put forward the, the slightly longer list than the final short list. So I feel like there's a bit of sort of outside influence and not just all within the industry, you know. Um, so I'm dead, I'm, yeah, I'm dead chuffed. It's a play that I'm so proud of, a part that I'm proud of playing, and my relationship with Jamie Lloyd is something that has helped me sort of become a, big, a better actor and find new exciting challenges as a person. So, you know, I kind of, I share the nomination with him. Hopefully I'll win it so I can share it with him as well. I would do theatre with somebody else, and I probably should do theatre with somebody else soon. But, um, but he's just too good at picking risky material and pulling it off, so to speak. And, uh, and he's, he's special because of that. Because, you know, it's, I think it's, it's what theatre should be. It should be risky. Uh, and there should be an air of, this might fail or might be ecstatically brilliant in the air uh, at all times. And that's what he gives, I think. I feel like I'd be cheating on him. I'd have to kind of have a shower after doing it before I saw him again. <laughs> uh, can I try to get the smell off me? Uh, he'd be coming home with like those different hairs in the bed. I'm sorry, it's Richard Hare. I know. No, it's Greg Doran. He's always flicking it. Um, <laughs> sorry, Greg. If, if anybody who watched it last year and saw my speech, I was absolutely, uh, unashamedly joyous. Yeah. And why not? You know. Totally. Actually, Richard Eyre we, we won Best Revival as well, the ghost, and he dropped his award on my foot. Oh, no. And I didn't tell him. I just felt so bad for him. Um, I was thought, the award okay, though? No, the, <laughs> the award was fine. My foot was completely wrecked. Oh, man. When I got nominated for Macbeth last time, two years ago, it was the day after our sort of sending off to. So me and the entire cast ended up rocking up to the Olivia Awards, <laughs> hung over. I was wearing sunglasses and they were like, can you take your sunglasses off for the picture? I was like, no, 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 I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll be as, as, um, in bad form again for the Olivia's this time.